All right, guys. Well, welcome to the video today. Today, I want to talk about um, the people who bury their money in their yard in jars. Um, that is a complete myth. Nobody does that anymore. What they do is they bury it in their closet. So I went into my closet today and got out all the money that's been in my closet for five years. And when I totaled it up five years ago, there was $92.50. And if you count it now, there's 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, two dollars and fifty cents. So my money didn't make any money. I thought if you saved money, you would make money. So, to try to prove myself that this investing thing is going to work, I am going to take this money, which I have to take it to the bank and deposit it into my account, and then I have to move it to my Webull account, which will take a few days. But I'm going to take this money and take it to the bank and um, see if I can start having this money that's been sitting in my closet for five years not making any money. I'm going to see if I can have it make me some money. To start the year out, we're going to, we have $92.50. So that's the total you're going to want to remember for at the end of the year when I make the video about how much money this money made. So let's go put it in the bank. Oh, and, and now that the, the, the jar is empty, what I'm going to use this jar for is, just so I can contradict myself in the same video, is I'm going to do the 52 week challenge that I've seen on the internet, which is a pretty good idea, and I figured it would be a good way so that I can start a Roth IRA at the end of the year, is I'm going to do the 52 week challenge where every week of the year you put money into the jar, basically. So the first week of the year you put a dollar in, which that's already passed, so let me hurry up and put a dollar in before I spend it on something silly. So this week we put a dollar in, next week we put two dollars in, on the third week, we put $3 in, and then all the way up to 52 weeks, the last week of the year, you'll put $52 in there, and then we should have a nice jar of money that we can deposit into a Roth IRA. That is the goal for this year, and it's a really neat idea. But let's get this money to the bank. Oh, and one thing I'm going to ask the lady, because this money is so old, how much money she will give me for it. I mean, if... It's five years old, so I mean, it should be worth something extra, right? Oh, they call me Mr. Moneybags, and now you know why. They call me Mr. Moneybags, and now you know why. It's because I put my money in bags. Normally, I put my money in a box when I take it to the bank, but I must have burned it in the burn barrel because we burn our trash now. Who said money? And now you know why I don't get anything done on my days off. And yes, I changed my coat because I'm going to town. And I forgot my coffee again. Well, guys, we got the money deposited into the account. Um, she said we got the same amount. And I says, well, that's good. But how much are you going to give me for it? And she said we got the same amount. So, so basically, we got $92.50. So we're going to jump on the app and add our $92.50 to the Webull account. And then I just want to take a moment to show you the, the fee at the top there that if the transaction doesn't go through for some reason, they charge you $30. Um, I've never had that problem, but that is an issue. And then it also takes five days for your um, funds to fully settle. And it only takes a matter of moments to transfer this money. It's, it's pretty amazing that this morning it was sitting in my closet. And now it's basically sitting in my Webull account. So we'll take a couple seconds and it's not there yet. And then usually they say you get this buying power, but I don't ever want to buy something until the cash settles. But there it is. Um, there's $204 in there now. So we're going to create our order for our stock we're going to buy. And um, you can buy on a limit order or a market order. The market order basically... Once you switch it over to the market order, it will um, basically just buy whatever the stock is at that time. But I want to do a limit order today. 
And as you can see here, the total is going to be $91.19. So I switch it over to limit and then hit the buy button, double check my order, hit confirm, and then there it goes into my open orders. And then you can switch over back to the home screen and then see if the order gets filled. And there it is. It's already been filled. And now our money is working for us. So as you can see, by the end of the day, we were up 22 cents on our new purchase and 10 cents on our portfolio. A week later, our $91.19 is now $95.92 and we're up $4.73. So that's pretty amazing. I'm excited to see what happens by the end of the year. Thanks for watching.